new year, new content, and you want to not be poor. Why are you fucking poor? So I'm going to talk about what made them go so viral and what do they actually have in common? Correct. And I am the fucking Ben. Problems you get McLaren. I'm the McLaren. You chose you me, If you don't know who Dan the Man Lock is, he is a copywriter and famous YouTube celebrity, most famously known for clips such as Why you fucking poor? And this. I'm Dan with the Hyundai. Correct. And I am the fucking Bambi. If you don't know who Andrew Tate is, Andrew Tate is also an internet marketer as well as a former cam girl CEO. I first made my millions of dollars. The first time I ever became a millionaire was with webcam studio. Oh, really? As well as a viral sensation for being known for clips and saying outrageous things like this. Well, they're trying to turn females masculine. It's not an accident. None of this is an accident. I mean, on Instagram, for example, I would assume that a man put her on that private plane. I would not assume she bought it herself. So the first similarity of what these two figures have is that there's a sense of sensationalism. When you watch these people, people a lot take them for face value. What that means is it's a lot of shock value. People watch that and they're like, wow, that I am outraged by what he says. But if you're an internet marketer, you would know that watching these types of content, you can't take everything face value. I hope, I just hope that people that watch these types of figures understand that they are playing a character. It is an over-exaggerated persona where they themselves are acting. But people forget that, hey, you're watching YouTube, it's something that's real. If my son is a nerd, one of us has to die, him or me, and I'll challenge him to mortal combat. Jesus Christ, do you mean that? Uh, right, that's a bit of exaggeration. Uh, but allegedly, both these two figures are great people and the nicest people offline. Frankly, I like them more off camera than on camera, and I like them on camera. Yeah, I just like them more off camera. You can also get another taste of this: is if you watch their most recent videos, their initial character that they played in the beginning is much more toned down and more normal. Why? You get outed for being canceled on the internet. And two, you get featured in so many CoffeeZilla videos where you're like, okay, I'm not gonna play this character. I'm just gonna be my most authentic self. So the moral of the story, kids, is do not take content for face value. Every YouTube video you watch, you wanna be like, how real is this shit? The second commonality between these two figures is that they target young men. They target people who are poor, who don't know what they're doing with their lives and create content where it seems like they have all the answers. They're fucking probably at home jacking off and, and typing on a keyboard. In other words, they are niched down to the most influential people on the planet. Young men from ages 18 to 35, selling them the dream that if you consume my content, I have the answer. I can ride in my Bentley, see if who knows the answers. I will break the matrix, be a part of the herd. As you can see, I am talking to a specific type of person who has no purpose in life. Doesn't know that, hey, they have so much potential. You wanna travel and like live all these luxurious things, have all these beautiful women and yachts and have a lot of money? Well, buy into my brand and I will lead you the way. And what that says is there's a lot of lost people in this day and age where there's are so many answers to whatever it is. Hey, you want to be a drop shipper. You want to be a TikToker. Oh, you want to be a social media strategist. Having a lack of wherever you want and direction you want to go in life as well, a lack of male father figures. It's very easy to get wrapped around around these types of people and content I'm like, hey, I look up to you. And the last commonality that Andrew Tate and Dan Lok have in common is that they are selling you something. They create content where they are talking to you, where they position themselves as, I have all the answers. You are miserable F. You are a virgin. You never went on a date. You have no money in your bank account. You're a brokey. Buy my product. I will show you the answers. The minute that you buy my product, it will give you the result that you want. You see, I notice people's pain points, right? 
you're lost. You don't know where you're going in life. You're 18 to 35. You're a young male. You have no confidence at all. Hey, I'm going to design a program, online course, and then it will fix that problem for you. It's a irresistible offer in marketing terms. Well, offer is so central to the very heart of your business. It becomes your identity. And that's pretty much the similarities between these two figures that blew up. Dan Locke back around 2017, 2018, and Andrew Tate more so recently. But it's all the same common plan of internet marketing. Do you have a lot of shock factor to play the blue ocean strategy where you are so different from everybody else, right? And of course, these two are internet marketers. You know what else they have in common? They're both friends with Brandon Carter. What up? It's your man, Big Brandon Carter. I've been friends with Andrew and his brother, Tristan. It's a very small world and it all, all is the same spiel. I'm gonna sell you something. I'm gonna talk to my audience. I'm gonna create a content and create a whole sales funnel flywheel around that. And that's how I'm gonna make my money in this digital age. And if you want to do that, Link description below, I can help you become a better content creator. I have a course as well as if you want to book a one on one with me, shoot the shit about content strategy and content creation. I'm all ears. You're watching Broke the Habit. I'm BTH Peter and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Hope you all have a splendid, splendid new year.